Hey guys, so Unreal Engine 4.26 has been released and here are a few reasons why you should care even if you're just a Blender artist. Just go to their website and see this uh, video banner demo reel. All of this is rendered using Unreal and remember Unreal is, is a game engine so most of this is real-time video playback. So you don't have to sit and wait for hours for this to render. You just have to hit playback and uh, everything uh, starts rendering. And just look at these renders here and ask me what is missing. Do you want reflections? Those are reflections. Motion blur, there is motion blur. High detailed renders, you just saw that tree, how much detail it has. Perfect light simulations. Glass also renders realistically. This is why I want to dive in into Unreal Engine because it has a lot of potential. I can guarantee you one thing, you're going to find Unreal Engine in a lot of pipelines if you're going to go professional. You're going to find a lot of studios using Unreal Engine. In the same way that Blender is breaking through different areas, you now find Blender being used in a lot of studios, even professional studios. If you come in as a Blender artist, they will let you use Blender without requiring you to learn a new software. In the same way, Unreal Engine is breaking through those areas. So, and you just have to go to their uh, release notes and see the different categories are that they're highlighting. Uh, architecture, automotive, uh, broadcast and live event, film and television, games, and uh, let's just go through some of these categories and you see how much potential they have. To look at these renders here, these are rendered directly in Unreal Engine, meaning that uh, you don't have to wait hours to render one single frame. Uh, so if you try to render these in cycles, it could take you a few hours depending on uh, your computation power. And uh, using the same computer, this would take you just a few minutes. The good thing about this is that uh, if you make this in Blender, you can easily export it in Unreal Engine for rendering so that you don't have to spend uh, that much time. And some of these renders can compete with offline renders from Cycles or Redshift or Mantra. Just look at this render here. If I was making a movie that has a CG city, this would pass as a good realistic render for me. So if it's going to cost me just uh, a few hours to render this, instead of a month with using an offline render engine like Cycles or Redshift, I'll choose Unreal Engine to render this out. Say you want to create a sci-fi scene, tell me this is not good enough for you. T just tell me that, because I think this is this passes for a good render, and uh, telling me that this only renders in a few seconds instead of days, I'll just take this any day. Just look at this. I don't know if they're using ray tracing here, but uh, it doesn't matter because it renders faster than offline renders. I'll choose this render over cycles for a number of good reasons because rendering this again would take a lot of time in cycles and versus in EV. So you might lose that on a few details. Uh, for example, these uh, rocks don't look that good, but uh, just look at the focus area and uh, this car here and uh, this other rock. And uh, this could also just be that uh, the lighting was not made uh, very well because uh, the focusing on the car mostly instead of the rocks but maybe if you did uh, you added some time on the rocks here you can even just add other props here to cover these details if they are not coming out as as uh, well as you wanted and that great thing about this if you are previewing this in your in your viewport and uh, it doesn't come out as good as you think you just have to find another prop instantly and uh, Place it there. If this rock it doesn't look very good for you, you can just instantly replace it with a different texture or a different asset. But uh, if you're doing that in Cycles or any offline render engine like Renderman or Redshift or V-Ray, it becomes very, very expensive to make changes. If you render out this and you realize that you don't like the look of these rocks, it's going to take you around the same amount of time to see overall picture if you re-render it. Maybe it looks good in a still image, but it doesn't look good when you have uh, the camera moving. You might render it out as a single image and it looks fine, but uh, when you render it out as a full video sequence and the camera is moving, uh, there is motion blur and uh, everything, you might realize that uh, the texture doesn't work for you in motion as it works in a still image. So trying to change it out and uh, rendering in that sequence took you, let's say, two days to render out. And now you want to switch it out with a different texture and just rendering out a single image is not going to be enough for you because you want to see if it works in a video sequence instead of just a single 
uh, short. It is going to take you the same amount of time to render out uh, that sequence just to preview whether it works in uh, in motion. Uh, so it becomes expensive and then you realize, okay, that texture now works in motion, but uh, texture on the mountain doesn't work in motion. It just works in, in a still render. You can see it becomes very, very expensive in, in terms of time and uh, even money because if you're using uh, cloud rendering, they charge you per hour or per number of GPUs you're using. Yet, if you're using Unreal Engine to do this, it's as simple as hitting space bar to playback. Just look at these renders they have really perfected how to render cars especially uh, this looks like mesh lighting which is basically adding an emissive material to a mesh and then that mesh produces light if you thought unreal engine was not good enough for film production well it's already being used for ads uh, you can see the mill is a reputable production house they used it to make this f1 ad real time rendering on the mills high octane f1 ads i'll be leaving a link in, in the description for all these but uh, just have to look at uh, some of these frames and uh, just get impressed. Most of these shots are CGI. This shot has to be shit CGI and this as well. And uh, they just look too good uh, to be true. And you can see everything in real time and uh, see the motion blur. See just depth of field. Everything is on point. In a few years, there won't be any good reasons to use offline render engines. Like Blender, Unreal Engine is going to be in every production workflow, whether to use it as a previous uh, software or for final rendering. For most of us who don't have the production budget to use uh, cloud render engines, this is the best alternative I think we're going to get. And uh, the best thing about this is that you don't have to throw away your Blender knowledge. These assets that they're using here have to be made from somewhere. And that's where Blender comes in. You make the assets in Blender and you can use this for rendering and uh, compositing and setting up your scene. Unreal Engine is supposed to be a game engine, but we have barely talked about that because there's so much to say about this in, in other types of productions. Uh, I think this is a film production here. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, some of the features. So this was uh, a short movie that was all rendered animated in Unreal Engine. Other visuals are just over the top. Just look at this creating procedural clouds. The quality you get from Unreal is good enough for a lot of indie filmmakers, at least for your budget. Just look at this, these details. All of this was, was done in Unreal Engine, setting up the scene, animating, and uh, compositing. Just look at that here. You wouldn't expect a game engine to be able to render that kind of hair. Just tell me you're not impressed. Just want to show you the behind the scene so I hope you enjoyed our parts. We started working pretty closely with Epic in the 2019. We were using some existing eight assets to push the integration of what is proprietary for our system with the new strand base. Strands. I'll just leave a link in the description for you to check out this video, but I think everything here is amazing in this demo. I, re I would recommend all of you to learn Unreal Engine as well, uh, because if you want to go professional, you will find Unreal Engine in your way. Thank you for watching.